as you can see I am uh, tucked up in bed doing a bit of editing and um, we have just got back from holiday we got back at four o'clock this morning um, and I am mega tired however I did have a video schedule to go up while we were away which was a, um, a shopping haul that hasn't quite gone to plan by the looks of it um, so I'm just re-recording the intro because um, I didn't do an intro to begin with and the one that is now with it now doesn't make sense because I'm not on holiday anymore um, so scrap that this is a new intro not a very good one but a new intro nonetheless um, and just to say you're now gonna have a shopping haul and enjoy Aloha! So, I thought it's about time to have um, a quick shopping haul. I can show you what I've been getting lately. Now, just to stress, this wasn't all in one trip, so I'm trying to tot up exactly what I have, how many trips I have had. I've had two trips to um, the Primark on Tottenham Court Road, which is one of my favourites. I've had an Oxford Street Primark trip. I've just been to the one in Norwich, plus a bit of Poundland, uh, not Peacock, Sainsbury's, there might be Sainsbury's thrown in there, I can't remember, we'll figure it out as we go along, but this isn't all in one shop, I must stress, I must, must stress, before anyone has a go at me about my shopping, um, but first and foremost, just before I then get on to, like, the actual big, big shopping bags, I just wanted to show you these, from Poundland, so this one's garden, this one says beer, I did talk about this in a previous um, shopping haul but I didn't actually have it to hand to show you, these are left over from Father's Day and they're actually now reduced to 50p each, so well worth it, I've got uh, three or four now in my spare room which I think will be fantastic, um, like for Christmas you can do little hampers and I picked up a couple, these are still full price but even then it's a pound, it's Poundland. Um, which I again think for like someone who likes gardening, that would be a really nice kind of hamper gift set as such. So I just wanted to get them out of the way first. Then, oh my god, I do have some big old bags, I will warn you. So these two most exciting bits. And um, for the holiday are the following. Are you ready? So we got. Did, oh, I was back to front. Da, 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 da. Oh, yes. So we have a pizza lilo. How incredible is that? And a donut rubber ring. So the rubber ring was £5. The pizza is a £10. They are quite heavy. That is my only reservation about it. But just, just how cool and Instagrammable are they? So I cannot wait for that. Carrying on, um, the rest of the Primark haul. Um, they're not Primark. <laughs> um, is this mirror so it's in a nice rose gold effect it was five pounds and i think this is going to look fantastic in my spare room which has kind of got a teal rose gold thing going on i'm actually tempted to get one more because i think these might look actually quite good above the bedside um tables like where my lamps are but i'm also thinking because there's some other pictures i want to put up above the bed and there are two as well i don't know whether then the four things will be too much but so I'll keep you posted on that but I really like that because when people stay they always say how they don't have a mirror so it's, it's really nice really nice effect uh, moving on I think I showed you the other week that I was struggling to find a blue top to go with these shorts from um from Sainsbury's these were originally well not only did I find the perfect top, it's also at the perfect price. So it was this top, really simple, it's got a crisscross at the front, and this was from my beloved Primani for only £4. And it was, it's just perfect. It's perfect in colour, perfect in fit, perfect in length. So it's hip length, slightly longer at the front than the back, um, has a ha bit of a handkerchief style, strap at the top, 
um, and it's the, um, what do you call it, where it's really tight here. Um, oh, you know what I mean, like where the straps come like, halter. it's not quite halter neck, but really narrow at the top. So that was perfect, well chuffed with that. The next thing I picked up, I, was, I like to have a dressing gown on holiday, just because I like to have something on when I come out of the shower, and I'm cooling down while I'm doing my makeup. I do have a checkered one I've had for absolutely years and that really is on its way out plus with me getting slightly bigger um, it's not fitting so well um, so I actually picked up this print because I really like the print um, so it's kind of a pink paisley with uh, three quarter length sleeves and a mint green paisley at the bottom and mint green kind of tie it's really loose cotton so it's going to be really cool and quite loose and um, light in my case it was 10 pounds so for primark it's kind of a bit more on the expensive side however i think this is going to be really useful for years to come so i'm well chuffed with that one and um, on the holiday theme i also picked up this toiletry bag so it's got a white clean middle i also got the carry case version um which has actually got bits and bobs in, in the other room, so I can't show you. But this was £4, the other one was £6. Um, and it's got kind of a rose gold and cream and marble effect. So I just thought this was really pretty. Um, and I've also got my rose gold carry-on suitcase, um, like hand luggage suitcase. So again, this will go fantastically with that. Um, I've never actually had my own toiletry bag before either. Um, like I've always had a makeup bag, but then when it comes to like shampoo, sun creams, that kind of thing, I've never had anywhere to put them. So hopefully, with especially the carry case or even this one, um, I'd be able to put things in. And if they burst because of the pressure of the plane, it's okay. They've got, oh, God, excuse me. You know, it, it's okay. It's all self-contained. Um, I also picked up a simple t-shirt in Primark. This is only £2.50 and it's more of a bit of a joke thing um, because I've been dying to go to New York for my 30th birthday um, and any chance I get to slip that into the conversation with Mark around, um, I do, essentially. So, I saw this. One, it's pink, so I love pink. And I did genuinely think, when I first saw it, oh, like when I saw the colour, anyway, oh, that will go with like some pale um, denim shorts quite nicely. And also the other thing is it's it would cover the tops of my shoulders because I am quite prone for getting like caught on the tops of my shoulders with the sun. So if I need a day where I need to cover them up, that's fine. But above all else, <laughs> if that's not a clear message to mark, then I don't know what it is. The only thing I'm slightly um, unsure about, if I hold up again, you might be able to see how it's kind of a tad see-through, but I'm sure with the right bra, that'd be fine. Um, and this was only £2.50, so, like, you can't go wrong on that, can you? Da -da 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 -da. From the beachwear, now I, th I have to admit, I think this is actually meant to be a pool cover-up, but I actually quite like the idea of wearing it as a dress. Um, and it is this, I should probably show you. They have got matching bikinis, so it's um, kind of knee length on me, but I am actually quite short. And then it's got a ruched um, bit round your bust. Um, you have got straps to make it into a halter style, or you can tuck the straps in to be strapless. Um, it's a really light material that won't crease, so that'll be perfect for your case. Um, like I said, I think it is meant, it's got matching like swimwear, so and it's with that, I think it's meant to be a nice pull on and it is in the swim and beach collection so again I think that reinforces the messages somewhat um, but I just, it's thick enough to wear as a dress so I think that's what I'm going to do I picked up a size medium so I was presuming that that was kind of a 10 to 12 which with my bust that's fine and it's quite a floaty style so that's quite handy and this was only £5 right, I also picked up some of these trainers they do have a bit of a lace detail I've already got them in like a baby pink colour and they're honestly some of the comfier shoes I've bought this summer they're only four pounds um, and they are genuine lace ups not like the fake lace ups that you get um, I've got them in a size four so they're quite true to size but they're just really simple just to wear you can wear them with shorts you know or you can just wear them with jeans you can wear them in so many different ways and they're just really comfy so great for holiday as well for those days if you're going on a trip 
and you need shoes that are a bit more sensible than flip flops eh? I also picked up this so it's an eyeliner, I nearly forgot um, to run it through the till because it got caught in my in my basket and I'm actually wearing it today I don't know if you can see Woo! hello um, and it's the colour just really caught me and for a pound I thought oh I'll give this a go I have to say this is applied really well um, and it's lasted and my eyes have been streaming due to hay fever today so this has lasted really well um, so I may be interested in actually getting some other bits it's called Stargazer I just realised that I didn't realise it had a name um, and this is the coal eyeliner so yeah Real good buy, really pleased. I think it's a summer kind of holiday vibe. And it goes really well with gold eyeshadow, which on that note, I also picked up this bronze palette. Now, I am loving this. I have to say, their makeup has really come on leaps and bounds. Don't get, I'm sure all, not all of it's amazing, um, but some of the bits I've tried, I've been really pleasantly surprised at. So these are the colors on the inside it was four pounds this palette and again I've got this blue on the tops of my eyes can you see um maybe not um as well as oh I'll let you know sorry as well as this gold today and the blue and the golds go so well together and I really think it's just a really nice summer like vibe so yeah particularly both together fantastic but even separately but together five pounds honestly where are you going to get a palette and an eyeliner from for five pounds that's so actually really good another simple top so it's pretty much a similar style to that royal blue one i picked up apart from this is all black and it's got a racer back um but i thought this would go quite nicely with a lot of the pattern shorts that i've got um because then you need a plain simple top to go on the top and this was only three pounds and then something else that was quite simple, just a white t-shirt top but with a really pretty crochet back. So just something little extra that, although it is a simple thing, it's, you know, just adds a little something else, doesn't it? And again, this was only £6. The only thing I'm slightly um, not sure about is the fact that it is a little bit see-through, as you can see. But I'm hoping with a nude bra, that will be fine. I'll let you know. Sorry, just had to go and get a drink. My throat was getting really, really dry. Um, so carrying on, I've never ever owned a mini skirt before, like a denim mini skirt before, ever in my life. So I've been dying to try it, see what it's like, kind of a casual, but something, I don't know, something that's not short, but I can then still get my legs out. Anyway, Primark had a perfect option, so it has got a bit of a raw detail on the bottom, um, and this was £8. Um, it's the light denim material. Word to warning, um, I had actually seen this in quite a few other hauls um, on YouTube. And they had all said the same thing, so I bought bear that in mind. I actually had to go a couple of sizes up just because of how I like it to fit. It is very, it is a mini skirt, but it's a very mini, mini tight skirt, I would say. So probably at the moment I'm about 10 to 12. I've actually bought a 14 because I like it to sit slightly lower on my hips rather than up here because um, then it's also slightly longer especially being shorter I don't like showing all that much leg I'm getting really prudish in my old age um, so yeah word to the warning it's a really nice skirt um, especially for what did I say eight pounds then you can't even get a pair of jeans for that let alone a, a skirt um, but yeah do watch the sizes and you may have to size up but I'm one of them people, as long as it actually looks okay, I really don't care what the label says. Um, the other, I did pick up another cheap, cheapy t-shirt. Really sorry. Should have warned you at the beginning. Grab a cup of tea, because this is a long one. Um, and again, it's a bit of another jokey t-shirt, um, just because everyone says how long I take to get ready. Um, so it's a white t-shirt, again, for the same reasons. It will cover up my shoulders if I catch them. Um, but the message on the front is... I'll be ready in five, it says, and then in really tiny writing at the bottom it says hours. <laughs> Which is so very true of me. Um, so again, this is £2.50. This will look great, probably actually with that denim skirt or even just with some denim shorts. Um, and you can't go £2.50. I don't care if I get sun cream on it for £2.50, it's fine. I am loving these kind of drawstring. Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to take a drink. Sorry. 
cheese. I have been loving um, these kind of fabric, I don't really know what to call them, I struggled before, like I call them kind of slouchy, they're not, uh, they're not quite palazzo pants because they're, they're slimmer, um, but they're also not harem pants because you haven't got a crotch that's down by your knees, I'm not sure what they are but you know what I'm on about, these comfy pattern trousers, slightly different to these is they're actually kind of I don't know if you'll be able to see it, we're kind of slightly caught at the bottom. Um, so they are loose, they're not, um, they haven't got the cuffed bottoms, which I can't stand. Um, but these finish just above your ankle, so your ankle then sits in this gap here. Um, and then kind of this ruching detail goes just above. Um, which I was a bit, oh, I would have preferred it for length, but I do still really like them. I love the pattern. It's kind of a moroccan -y pattern with orange and navy blue, which I just think is a really pretty pattern with a navy top. Perfect. These will be so good for like travelling in. Or even in the evenings, just something comfy if you're just sitting out. Um, you're covered, but smart casual kind of thing. Love them. These were, mm, I want to say £8 because everything seems to be £8. And they were £8. <laughs> Going along the same style, I probably need to actually have a sort out because um, it's probably getting to a point where I've got too many. But again, it's very similar apart from these are completely full length. Um, in again, it's kind of Aztec -y print in like red and black, which is completely me. I love. And I did actually wear these back. I've still got the labels in, it was only in the car, but I did wear these back from London on Sunday because they were just really, really comfy. They even have pockets. But these would just be perfect for when you're travelling on the train, um, on the train, on the plane, going out. Because they're quite thin if you need, you know, when you get on the other side and it's really hot. But your legs are still covered, so you have still, you know, something warm. But yeah, love these as well. And then the same print, I know I'm really, really sad, but I also picked up the pattern shorts because I really like the print. Um, they're really comfy, the style of shorts. And I can then wear the kind of that black vest top I showed you before with this style of shorts perfect and these shorts were four pounds so half the price of the trousers <coughs> oh sorry um to go in the same style as the dressing gown that i showed you i also picked up the pajama bottoms so they're really wide leg in the same cotton um in the pink paisley print with mint green at the bottom um and kind of elasticated waist, this is in size 10 to 12, um, and these were £7, I'm thinking more for the holiday um, in the end of September, October time where it's warm, but you've then got, um, you know, you're not going to be completely stifling and potentially we're going to have children coming to visit us, so I would like to be a little bit more covered up, um, and with that I also picked up, there was a vest top version, but I really do prefer t-shirts, like not long sleeve t-shirts, but kind of short sleeve t-shirts so I also picked this up and they're separates which is great so the trousers were seven the top was four um it does look really big for a size 10 um so I think I'm gonna have to try that on and it, I'm also a bit worried about it being slightly see-through since even on the camera you can kind of start to see my face um so I'll try it on and I'll let you know but yeah I just really like that and it's kind of a nice summery print as well um, I spent quite a bit of time in the pajama department because I haven't bought any for ages. Or well, genuinely, I haven't. Um, but for this holiday in Greece that's coming up where it's going to be absolutely boiling, um, again, I picked up some pajamas and they were separate. So I've got these really cute grey and pink um, with little pom poms on the bottom. I don't know if you can see those. Um, shorts, these were a size, they've got a really nice kind of lace detail at the front um, to tie a bow in, these were size 10 to 12 and these were only £2.50, like such a bargain and again I've then got this grey kind of vest top um, size 10 to 12 for £2.50 again so together they were £5 and hopefully they'll be rather cooling um, for in the hot, completely hot weather in, um, in July in Greece. Um, Final thing which I bought with the plane in mind, because I always get freezing cold on planes, 
I don't, I could never ever understood people who board planes like in just the best top and shorts. Like I can never do that. I'm always freezing cold on a plane. So I've picked up this hoodie because some of the others just aren't fitting right and I just wanted a really cosy one, not like a tight fitting one, just something to snuggle in that I can just keep in my ha in my like hand luggage bag. And it says forever on it, um, just grey, right, you know, grey, right, um, black writing on a grey hoodie even, come on Emma, wake up. Um, so yeah, it's nice and simple, again I wore this on the way back actually from London on Sunday, so it's really cosy and warm, and it was £7, so... And it'll also do if we're actually sitting out on the balcony in the evening, you know when you sometimes just need something to shove on, if you're not going anywhere but it's getting a bit chilly. Perfect, I'll have that in my hand luggage, done. A couple of extra um, last bits from Primark. One is this gorgeous wrapping paper I just wanted to show you, like proper mermaid esque. Um, this is for my goddaughter Lola on her birthday next week, so I need to wrap up her presents. But I'm also going to keep some of it because I think it'll make really good flat lays for when I take photos for Instagram. There you are, there's a hack for you. Um, now, the last bits I've got are two different eyeshadow brushes. I really like I, um, Primark eyeshadow brushes, they work really well for me and they're dirt cheap, so fine this one I've got a contour so it's quite fluffy with an angled head this was one pound and then I've got a double-ended smoky brush so it's a really slim but wider on the top and then on the bottom a really tiny one that you could probably do your lash line with um, and that was one pound fifty and then one thing that I was really keen to try is this long wear mineralized foundation um, admittedly there's only five colours, I've gone for number two, which, oh no, number one, which is ivory, but they do have a zero zero, which is porcelain. It comes in this kind of shaped bottle. Um, I did test it on in the shop and it did seem quite high coverage, um, just on my hand though, and then obviously wiped it off. Um, however, I've seen some really good reports of this on YouTube, so I'm really excited to try this and I'll let you know. Um, it was only £5, um, it's got an SPF 15 in it, so that's pretty good. Um, how many mil is this? It's 30 mil, so it's pretty much the same size mil as, you know, any other foundation. Um, £5, admittedly for Primark, I was a bit like, ooh, do you give it a go? But, if it was in like Superdrug or Boots, then you would. So, yeah, I'm really excited to try this and I'll let you know. Um, oh, and there is one other thing. I think I got this from Home Bargains. I th yes, I did. I'm sure I did. Anyway, they were Malibu lip balms because I always burn my lips on holiday. Don't know about anyone else. So these are SPF 30 Malibu, if anyone knows, is actually a Suncare skin brand. And I believe these are £1.50 from Home Bargains. Um, but they've got watermelon flavour, vanilla flavour, and the green one I can't see. Um, no, don't tell me what the green one is. Uh, possibly mint. Yeah, sometimes you can get a mint one, it says. Um, anyway, either way, as long as it keeps my lips fine, and I will let you know. So I'll pack these when they go on holiday. So, moving on to same plugs. I haven't tried these on yet, but I thought these would be great for work. They are three quarter length proper navy tailored trousers you can wear these with heels you can wear these with flats um and so it'll mean i can ride my bike but i'm also not flashing but i'm also smart and cooler because they are cropped these were 16 pounds my only reservation is and it's a personal thing is that i do have fat calves so i do struggle sometimes with things like this and those other tapered pattern trousers i always have to go size up to allow for my calves which is a bit annoying so I haven't tried these on yet, but I think these will be great. Bending that they actually fit, I think these will be great for work.
Right, the other thing I also picked up from um, Sainsbury's is just because I had some, like, um, I took something back and I needed to exchange it for something else, was just this really simple summer's dress. So it's got kind of a crossed back detail v-neck at the front in this black and grey and white Aztec design, which is like all me all over, and it's jersey, so you can get more me. Um, and it's really simple, kind of quite flat around the bust and then a bit more flowy. And this was only £14, so looking forward to trying that on holiday. Um, I popped into H&M to take something back for my stepdaughter and I came out with a couple of items. So the first one is, if I can put it back around the white, white way, it's inside out actually because I wore this with those pattern trousers last Sunday when I came back in the car. Um, but it's a real simple low v-neck um, vest top, I don't know if you can see that because of the black, yeah you can see, really thin and um, quite long lines, so quite flattering and I picked that up also and it's really pretty peachy colour and I think this will go nicely with those shorts, oh sorry excuse me, with those shorts from Peacocks that I showed you last time. There's also some navy shorts with um, peachy coloured roses on, which I picked up from Sainsbury's, uh, not Sainsbury's, from Primark. Oh, I think when we went away for the weekend, I must have shown you them. Some navy short shorts, um, like cottony shorts again. Yeah, which fabulous. I think these will go nicely. And these were 6 99 each. Um, I got a size small, so that equates to about a size 10. Um, but really simple, really light, um, and quite flattering as well. Something else I also picked up in H&M, which I am just absolutely loving, and I really hope they do more colours of these. I love the style, um, but they only ever had, what other colours did they? A really ba a real pale baby pink, which for me would just wash me out, um, and a snake skin, which snake skin is just, just not, my, not my thing. Um, but they had this print, which I loved, and that's this dress so it is knee length i'm not sure if i'm really showing this off very well um v-neck with spaghetti straps they're not adjustable but you can kind of get over that and then it has this layer over the top so it kind of a swing layer on the top um in these kind of torpy greeny peachy palm print um and this was 12.99 i've wore it once really comfortable really flattering and like I said, I'd love it if they'd done more dresses like this. Um, but unfortunately, so far they haven't. So H&M, if you're watching, please do some more because they were incredible. Um, Asda was my next hit. Um, I took back that blue top you saw me try on the other week. Um, but I did pick up this colourful vest top, which has kind of got a double strap detail. And then a tie back. Um, oh, I'm showing you the wrong way around. That's the tie back. And then it's kind of got a keyhole front just there. And then a double strap here. But in this really bright kind of tie-dye effect with dark jean shorts, I thought this would be great. Um, and it's in a jersey material, so it means it won't crease in your case. And I find that really quite flattering on me. Um, but yes, I picked up that. And I also picked up this really pretty dress, but the thing that really drew me to it is this neckline. It's like a real high halter neck, and then your shoulders are kind of bare here. Um, and then it fits around your bust, and then it flows out, which for me is just real flattering. Again, in jersey, so ticks all my boxes, and this is only £10. But I really like the pattern as well, so you can kind of look a bit more dressy in an evening, but you're really comfortable... Um, and it's quite simple, you could just wear it with flip flops as well, so perfect. And my final item to show you today, I've shown you this in other colours and I told you how amazing it was, and that was I picked up a white t-shirt and a corally t-shirt from Tesco's, remember? Well, I've also now picked it up in navy. Um, fits really, really well, really comfy, really flattering, and it's only £5. Again, doesn't crease. Just perfect staples. And there you are, that's my haul. There's one other thing I forgot to show you, and it's because I was wearing them that I didn't show you them. And they are these trousers here. 
So, as you can see, they are three quarter length. They're kind of in this cheesecloth-y material. Love the design. Really loose and floaty. Do you like my action for loose and floaty? Has got a tie detail that's come undone because I've been chatting. Um, if I show you the mirror, excuse my slippers. Yeah, so these are them. Real comfy. I've had them on today as we've been in the city just with my black flip-flops. Um, they kind of high-waisted. Um, I've got my t-shirt loose at the moment, but it was tucked in and they look quite nice. They've been really cooling in the heat today. Um, yeah, so I love them. They did have a couple of other designs. I wasn't sure on how wide the legs were um, and whether they made my legs wider and being short whether I could get away with them. But actually, to be perfectly honest, I don't care because they've been so comfy today.